There is so much more to safety than having the proper personal protective equipment. It's also about wearing and removing it correctly. Despite our training and best intentions, one piece of PPE handled incorrectly can cause spread of an infection. Behind me is Dr. Tyler Groves, our chief resident. He's about to check on a patient who is on enhanced droplet contact precautions. But little does he know, his patient is about to check on him. Good morning, Kiara. How are you feeling today? A little better, Dr. Groves, I think. That's good. It's been pretty busy on the unit today. Sorry about that, I'll get to that later. So as I was saying, it's been pretty busy today, so why don't we go ahead and do some quick checks before getting to your procedure, okay? Sounds good, Doctor. Since you're wearing your face protection, I'm gonna wear mine too. Check these out. I got them from Child Life. They help me see things my own eyes can't. Okay, Kiara, go ahead, but please remember to speak up if you see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Dr. Groves, but my goggles are telling me there's something not quite right. Hmm, it looks like Tyler may have missed a few steps when putting on his PPE earlier. Remember that proper donning of PPE means doing it in the right order and it always starts with cleaning your hands. Otherwise, you can contaminate anything you touch. That's another reason you shouldn't bring things like cell phones or stethoscopes with you without cleaning them in between rooms. Look closely at Tyler's mask. Not only has he touched and readjusted it after he put it on, but it also appears that he didn't perform the necessary N95 seal check. Tyler only tied one of the two sets of gown strings too, and there's a gap between his gloves and gown cuff. Did he forget or ignore these steps? It did seem like he was in a hurry, although that didn't stop him from silencing his cell phone and contaminating other surfaces. Thanks for letting me know, Kiara. For your safety and my own, I think it's better to start again. Please give me a moment and I'll be back. Removing PPE must be done thoughtfully to stay protected. Remove gloves first by rolling them down. Never let gloved fingers inside the other glove make contact with your skin. When you take off the gown, untie both straps. Never pull it off above your head. Always practice hand hygiene before touching anything on your face, as even careful glove removal doesn't guarantee your hands are germ-free. After doing so, lean forward slightly and gently remove and dispose the face shield. With PPE removal, there can be no shortcuts. Oh, Dr. Groves. Would it help if you borrowed my goggles? Thanks, Kiara. When I come back, I'll take a closer look. Good. Tyler remembers that once you begin removing PPE, you should not venture back inside the room. I know it seems like a lot to remember, especially when you're having a busy or stressful day. But we can't take care of our patients without taking care of ourselves. That means doing all we can to eliminate these lapses because even one is too many. Prior to visiting each patient, perform a point of care risk assessment and ensure that you have the right PPE combination for the right patient. Thank you for keeping our patients and families and yourself safe.